This video is a brief overview of Canada's refugee programs so that you as sponsors can see how you and the refugee newcomers that you've sponsored fit in. There are two ways of coming to Canada as a refugee. You could come as a refugee claimant, meaning that you have physically made it to Canada and you make a claim for protection to the authorities of Canada from inside the country and you go through the whole refugee status determination process while in Canada, or you can come through resettlement. In the case of resettled refugees, they are approved for permanent residence in Canada before traveling to Canada. So the application is processed while they are not in their country of origin and not yet in Canada. The government of Canada sponsors refugees through the Government Assisted Refugee Program. Government Assisted Refugees, or GARS, do not have private sponsors, and they receive 12 months of financial support through the RAP program, Resettlement Assistance Program. There are also privately sponsored refugees who come through the resettlement program and privately sponsored refugees do have a group of individuals who support them for their first year. In the private sponsorship of refugees program, there are several different streams. You may have heard of a group of five or community sponsor application. This is where a group of five individuals or an organization make an application directly to IRCC, Immigration, Refugees, and Citizenship Canada. In order to do one of these kinds of applications, the refugees being sponsored have to have refugee status, either with the United Nations or with the government of the country where they are. And then there are sponsorship agreement holders. So ORA is a sponsorship agreement holder, also known as an SAH or a SAW. We work with many different sponsor groups or constituent groups to sponsor refugees through the private sponsorship program. And we work with different types of applications. So we might have a group come to us that says, we would like to sponsor anybody. We don't care who it is. We don't already have a person in mind. In that case, they might sponsor through what's called the BVOR program, the Blended Visa Office Referred Program. This is where refugees are referred for resettlement to Canada, usually by the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees, the UNHCR. There's a matching database where we are able to see profiles of BVOR individuals or families who are looking to be matched with sponsors in Canada. In the case of BVORs, the refugees have already been accepted by Canada, which means once they're matched with a sponsor group, the time from submitting that application to when the refugee would arrive in Canada is fairly short, usually two to four months. And BVORs receive six months of financial support through the Resettlement Assistance Program or the RAP program. That's the same program that government assisted refugees receive support from for the full 12 months. We also sponsor named cases. Named cases refer to applications where the refugees are identified by sponsors and there's an extensive application process. Usually it takes anywhere from one and a half to three or even more years for IRCC to process a named case application. Every now and then there are special programs that might see faster processing times. There's a very limited number of people that can be sponsored through this named case stream. And there's a very, very high demand. So why does this matter? All of this is important because People base their expectations off of previous experiences and what they hear from others. And because there are so many different programs and streams through which a refugee could come to Canada, it means that the timelines they experience, the support they get, the benefits they receive could all vary based on how they fit in. So we are working with you on either a BVOR application or a named case, 
You're working through the sponsorship agreement holder stream, through the private sponsorship of refugees program in the refugee resettlement category. If I have sponsored before and I'm sponsoring again, I might expect that the timelines will be similar to last time. But if I previously sponsored a family through the BVR program and now I'm supporting a named case, there are going to be differences. If I am a refugee newcomer and I meet my neighbors and they're getting a check from the government every month and I'm not getting a check from the government every month or they got a shipment of furniture from the government and I got a bunch of donated secondhand items from my sponsors and I like what they have better, I might feel like I'm not getting something that I should be getting. Maybe my sponsors are getting something and they're not giving it to me. So we feel it's important for you as sponsors to understand how you fit into this bigger picture so that you in turn can help the refugee newcomers you're supporting understand how they fit in.